Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Lockout Men once again with another uh, Facebook suggestion calls. These calls right here, MTC 2020, these calls right here is coming directly out of my Facebook posts. You know what I'm saying? These companies is using Facebook to recruit potential drivers, and some of them have reached out to me. Right now, we got Nova, Nova Lines. They are a flatbed company uh, out of Chicago, Illinois, and he's reaching out to me to tell us about the lease purchase program. Unfortunately, we got disconnected, so we about to get it right back. Hey, LeSean. All right, sorry about that, man. We, we totally got disconnected damn it man yeah. um yeah no worries um uh, okay so so this is a so this is a flatbed uh you said you got training uh yeah you say i i gotta go out with a driver for two for about two weeks and i would get paid how how yeah would, would i get paid the same as 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 what you would as you said that i would get the 80 percent, or is the pay no, different between no. for training yeah, so you would be getting 500 per week. Oh, 500 per week for two weeks, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he's he's yeah. going to teach me how to he's going to teach me how to tarp, how to how to secure, yeah. and all that stuff. And before we everything, got, yeah. And before we got disconnected, you was mentioning that we that you guys you guys basically move just about anything. But I think before yeah. we got disconnected, I said, do you guys do heavy haul? So, is is heavy haul different from from the pay based on that, or is that eighty percent of the of the grosser too? Yeah, I mean it's more pay. You know what I'm saying? So I mean with heavy haul, I mean if that loads, you know, six, seven, eight G's, you know what I mean? You'd mm -hmm. be getting eighty percent of that. I mean, let's just say on average, let's say an average load right is three thousand. You'd be taking home twenty four hundred out of that. You know what I mean? Oh. On average. Okay. Okay. How? Yeah. So I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of crazy because you know this this percentage stuff is all new to me and you know some companies is is offering different percentage pays. So far, I mm -hmm. I came across a company that was only offering thirty percent of the uh, gross. How are you able to mm -hmm. offer me eighty percent? Um, I mean that's just what that's the lease purchase and owner operator. So, with the lease purchase, it's a five week. I mean, think about it, man. Like, so it's basically giving you an opportunity. Like, if you want to buy a truck, so we have 2019 and 2020 uh, Freightliner Cascadias. Okay. Um, they come with Park Smart APU, idle free HVAC system, so you can save on fuel. Uh, headache rack, deer guard. Uh, it's a 10 speed automatic transmission, um, and that payment's 9.95 a week. You know, so oh. you'd be paying that week. Okay. Yeah, so you'd be paying that truck payment for five years, okay? Like, if you were an owner-operator, I mean, that's why, like, owner-operators, op like, when you think about it, like, they own their own truck, then they're really, I mean, they're really making good money. You know what I mean? Because they don't have a truck payment. Okay, so what about, uh, so is this a walk-away lease? Yes, it's a walk-away lease, um, no credit check, no balloon payment. So this is... This is uh, Oh, go ahead. This, this is not a no, lease. This, this, this is not an outside lease. This is more of a inside yeah. company lease. Yeah, no, it's just it's on us. So there are trucks, and you know, yeah. Okay, okay. So you're, you're leasing them through us, yeah. So let me ask you this: If I just if okay, so what if I decide to just quit the company, but I still want to keep the mm -hmm. truck? Would I be able to do that? I mean, if the truck's paid off. Oh, oh okay. otherwise, unfortunately, yeah, no. <laughs> I had to give up. I had to give up the truck. Man, if that was the case, man, yeah, Every, you'd probably be here tomorrow, right? <laughs> er, you know, everybody will be will be into that. Um, so, what's the least amount of experience that you that you require for for people to come on? Because, like so I said, I got it's two years. Mm -hmm. It's two years minimum over the road experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as flatbed, we try to look for at least three months of flatbed experience. Um, if you don't have experience, we do have the, we offer, you know, training. Um, okay. It's just a way to get guys, you know, familiarized with it, give guys an opportunity to, you know, um, 
call flatbed, learn flatbed. I mean, if you think about it, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, who's going to pay you to show you how to do something? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. All right. So I you... mean, time is time is time. Like, you know, we have a lot of, I mean, the thing is too, like a lot of guys, they're, I mean, the train the training is getting booked up quick. You know, I mean, there's not that many guys that are willing to go on the road with another guy, but we do have, you know, uh, you know, some guys that are willing to do that. And, um, you know, obviously people are calling, they want to get trained on it. So, um, the spots are filling up quickly, so that's why I try to, you know, if you're interested, I, I'd say take initiative, you know, as soon as you can. That way we can get you squared off with, you know, a good trainer and make sure that you learn everything you got to know. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I, I do appreciate you getting back to me and, uh, and and talking to me about the company, man, because like I said, I'm, yeah. you know, flatbed, you know, I, I always considered flatbed as a young man's game. But, you know, if it's, you know, what you offering for leasing, you know, 80 percent, 80 percent of the gross, that sounds pretty good. Do we do we get additional pay yeah. for tarping for tarping and everything or is it all included? That so if you were to take the different route of doing like mileage, so the percentage is lease purchase. We do have another percentage office, uh, percentage um, option, option where of like a company driver. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're more like it's like you're still a 10.99 employee, but you're more like a company driver. Mm -hmm. um, then you would get paid for tarping. So four foot tarps are 25, and then eight foot tarps are 50. Oh, okay. That's okay. what you would get paid. Do we get do mm -hmm. we get paid that's, do do now that's just for tarping. Do we get paid for the time yeah. to tarp? Because some of them I, I've seen I've seen some low securement videos that some of these guys be like an hour to two hours uh tarping. Yeah, yeah. No, you no, it's you don't get paid for it, but I mean you're getting eighty percent of the gross, so I mean, you know and that's the thing, man, you'd be surprised. I mean sometimes it takes longer but i mean as you go with it like you know like we've had guys that have taken longer in the beginning but then once you get familiarized with it just like anything you know any, as soon as you get your hands on something for the first time by yourself i mean we're human right right unless you're like a natural you know but it takes time you know but once you get familiarized with everything i mean it just depends on what you're hauling you know Okay. Like, if something takes, if something, think about it, man. If something's taking an hour or two to haul, how much do you think that's that load's paying? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> it's obviously going to be, you know what I mean? Right. Okay, okay. So you're going to be like, you're going to be like, oh, okay, this is, you know what I mean? When, once you see how much it is, you'll be like, oh, okay. Like, no wonder it took an hour, you know? <laughs> okay, and then that pay, and, and then that paycheck afterwards be like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't mind taking it. Yeah, hour. but you got to. Yeah, man, but you got to remember, too, so there there is, like, expenses and stuff, you know? So, like, I mean, you're basically, like, an owner-operator, you know? So there's, you have to rent a trailer. So the flatbed trailer is uh, it's a Fontaine Revolution, 48-footer. Uh, they come with it's a spread axle, mountain toolbox, uh, built-in rub rails. I mean, real nice trailers that we got. And um, that, unfortunately, you can't buy, but you would rent it, and that's 250 a week. Um, if you want to take a look, um, I sent you an email, and it'll give you like a visual, um, a visual breakdown of what an average settlement looks like. Okay, okay, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely go back and uh, take a look at that. What's, uh, where's, yeah. where's the orientation held at? The orientation is held at our home office in uh, Chicago. It's River Grove. It's about 15 minutes west of Chicago. Okay. Um, and orientation is about a day and a half. Um, basically, you would uh, have a one full day. Basically, the way it would work, LaShawn, let's say you say, okay, Marco, let's get it squared away, right? Let's get it started. Mm -hmm. I would um, you actually, in the email, you can complete a full application. Right. You complete the application. I'll go ahead and run your MVR, your PSP, make sure you know everything is good, and send you over to safety, get you approved, and then I would schedule a drug test for you near your home address. Okay. And then I'll get you a rental have you drive over here and you're in Ohio right or right. Cleveland right yeah so I'd get you I get you a rental at the airport near you you pick it up drive over here check into the hotel return the rental and then you'd start orientation one full day we provide lunch for you lunch and dinner okay um, and then the next day it's usually I mean the drivers are out by like 11 or 12 the next day you know you'd already have a load but for you, since you're a trainee, you would be going with someone. You know, they would come by, scoop you up, and then you guys would hit the road. Okay, so this is so the process from beginning to end is like a week, pretty much. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm to be honest, man, it's really it's really on you. I mean, to be honest, like 
if I have, tra I mean, it depends too. Like if I have trainers available, yeah, like, you know, but like if you were to just say, oh, I have flatbed experience, whatever, I mean, it really depends. You, you fill out an application. I'm pretty quick with, you know, processing everything just because mm -hmm. obviously, you know, getting people in the door, that's my job, you know. <laughs> but, um, of course. That's pretty much my job, you know. So I process things pretty quickly. Um, but, yeah, like these guys, so we usually do orientations Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. And, um, like, I mean, orientations have been packed. We have... We've been having five, ten guys Mondays and Wednesdays, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Is there a sign-on bonus? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a sign-on bonus. No. Okay, okay. Uh, what about yeah, now? Yeah. Being that I'm being that I'm pulling flatbed, uh, uh -huh. is there is there hazmat? Do I have to have my hazmat? No. All right. And being that this is lease, and you said it's like nine, like nine ninety nine. So it's nine ninety nine plus the amount of the trailer. So I'm looking at close to eleven hundred dollars every week, right? So basically, it's it's a little bit more. So there's more expenses. I mean, once you look into the email, you'll see. But I mean, if you're like if you do one load and it's paying three thousand, you're getting twenty four hundred, right oh, there. Man. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, in a week, you're probably gonna have four or five loads a week. You know what I mean? Right. And I mean, flatbed loads are like you, I mean, it's rarely ever not a high paying load. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why a lot of guys right now are doing percentage, you know? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so like you'll see, I mean, basically you have to push, I'd say like in the beginning, I mean, it's a hustle, man, you know, you, you gotta grind, you gotta be out on the road, you gotta, I mean, the opportunity's there. Um, I mean, everyone wants to grind, but when it comes down to grinding, you know what they, I'm saying? Right. People say, oh, I want to go home. Oh, I want to. And at the end of the day, you're not going to make money. If yeah, you're if you're a type sit, of dude that's like, hey, the man, I'm, and, they want to sit on a couch and watch TV all day. But you know what I mean? If you're the type of dude that's like, hey, like, let's get it. Like, we got a lot of guys here that are making, like, really, really good money. Like, plus, like, referrals. Like, there's referral bonuses. So, like, let's say you get a guy. You can make up to like a thousand. You know, when the guy first starts, when he drops off his first load, you get two fifty. Then after he he's there for two weeks, you get another two fifty. You know, and it's just, it's nice, you know, to have that coming in. Like there was a guy that I actually brought in from uh, Mobile, Alabama. Okay. I mean, he's taking he's taking home like four Gs, like, and that's okay. from his like referrals. I think, yeah, I think he grows. He he's just doing. He's beasting. You know, he's he's driving. You know, doing what he's got to do and. Okay. I mean, it's a hard job, but I mean, you know, if you're if you're in it to make the money, and you know, I mean, obviously, another thing that you got to take into consideration: fuel management. You know, like all that stuff. You know, fuel right now. I mean, drivers are typically spending a thousand to twelve hundred on fuel weekly. You know. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That is what's up. That's some good information, man. I I definitely yeah. uh, I would definitely go back to the. Uh, Go back to the email and definitely uh, go over that and uh, and keep yeah. you know keep all this in in consideration. Um, I know yeah, you, you should, man. I mean, I know you told me before. You know, try something different. I will. I will. I know you told me before, but uh, what what are the routes? I mean, what's what's the route consist of again? Yeah. So basically, anywhere east of I thirty five. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So. You look at a map, yeah, I mean, as far as going super far northeast, I mean, there's loads out there, but they're high-paying loads. A lot of guys don't like to go out there, obviously, because of traffic, you know, in New York, New right. Jersey. I mean, you know how it is. Right. I mean, you've been over the road for five years. You know you know the states that are a little mm -hmm. bit of a headache, but at the same mm -hmm. time, they know, they, at the same time, they know um, that they're high-paying loads. Exactly. What are, what are the least trusts governing that? Uh, 67. 67. Okay. And is there mm -hmm. one last thing? Well, two last things. Uh, the first one is, is there a camera in the truck? No. Okay. And then the other one, what about pet and rider policy? Yeah, there's a pet and rider policy. It's a $500 deductible. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you wouldn't have to, yeah, you wouldn't have to pay that at once, but yeah. Okay. All right, man. Well, hey, thank you for uh, reaching out to me, man, and uh, giving me yeah. Uh, no worries, man. Take a look. Take a look at the email, and if you have any, I would definitely yeah. Do take that. a look at the email. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. Okay. All right, I will do that, man. Thank you very much for calling me. I appreciate it. All right, no worries, man. I'll talk to you. Bye bye. Tenfo. Bye. That was 
that was Nova Lines. They uh, reached out to me to talk to me about their lease purchase program. They do have, they, they are, they also have a company side, but, but it is all 1099. 1099 so you know what well, being that you're a 1099 driver meaning that they're not going to offer no benefits to you so that was that's why i didn't bother to ask them about benefits and holiday pay and detention and all like that because you're a 1099 driver so you're pretty much responsible for all of your taxes and your insurance and everything what they provide is the truck which is a newer model truck. They don't have cameras in their trucks. They do have a, a, a pet and rider policy, so that'll work. The truck payment though, yeah, yeah. You know, new jets, you might want to take some time and some consideration before you actually jump into any type of lease purchase program to see if it actually worked for you because the because between the trailer that you have to quote unquote rent and the truck that you gotta quote unquote pay for you definitely going to have to um you yeah it's 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 a little bit over a thousand dollars a week but the average though he said the average drivers actually make about three three four grand so in the outro i will go over the uh, email that he sent me and uh, we'll chop it up some more all right i'm about to switch over you guys take it easy nova line